Uh, and this one, uh, it's called, my thing is called Pitbull Attacks Everyone. Yeah. So the situation where a woman's getting mugged and then a girl with a pit bull goes over with her dog to try to help. Um, then, then the dog attacks the person getting mugged and then the owner. And the mugger gets away. It's literally a trifecta here. Mm. And you brought the dog over as like a weapon. You know, oh, this sweet boy that wears a tutu and the sweetest dog ever. You knew what he had in him. You just couldn't direct it. You Mm -hmm. just couldn't direct it properly. And he got smoked. Everyone got smoked but the dog. That's perfect. The muggers, mugger types love pit bulls. Yeah. They don't, they're uncontrollable. Nothing happens. And the mugger got away with all the stuff. And now the person who got mugged got mugged and also attacked by a dog. (laughs) Got mugged and like their thigh ripped. So (laughs) nice. Good day. Um, Next one. This um, woman is walking on the sidewalk and taking up more space to fight back against white privilege. I'm currently in Paris and I've got some errands I gotta do today. So I'm gonna go out and get myself some micro reparations by not moving out of any white person's way since they love to take up the road. Micro reparations? This is how good I'm gonna look while doing it. Yeah. Get into it. Get into it. Just a little, a little, a little something. Alright, let's go. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Let's see. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah, baby. That's right, single file, ho. Shut her mouth, bitch. What a lady. You know what I would do in that situation? I would get out of the woman's way because she's a lady. And then I would see how she handled it and just think, wow, what a sad person. Has no control of their life and no power. And the only way they can get power and control is to be rude in, in public and take up too much space in the sidewalk. Yeah, I'd feel pitiful for this person because they're a race obsessed weirdo who, what, micro reparations? Cool, we're even. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Someone wants to bring up reparations again. I'll be like, there's a lady on the sidewalk. Actually, we already she already took that. it. Yeah. She already took it all. That was me and her. What a joke. I mean, what a race obsessed, weird person. You know, you're going out in Paris on a beautiful day, and the only thing you can think about is making TikTok content for weird racists online mm-hmm. like yourself. Next clip is all these kids with guns in their school. The uh, future doctors of America is what I labeled it. So all these kids have, what, a basketball game or something? Yeah. We not even going to play like that for no grades. Y'all see them killers in here? Hey, stop playing. And they all have tons of guns. <laughs> Everyone's got guns. <laughs> these kids are like 15. Yeah, 15 in high school. You know, schoolwork, probably not focused on. How do you spell encyclopedia? Uh, no one knows, but they all have their weapons and guns. It's and it's scary. The the kids with the guns are the scariest. Yeah, we were in New Orleans mm-hmm. and we saw some kids like get out of a car and they were wearing a mask and gloves and stuff at like a convenience store. And in the back, they were like definitely teenagers. In the back, they had a bunch of guns in the car. Yeah, and it was just like those are the reckless ones. Those are the ones that don't know what they're doing. They'll they'll just shoot you for nothing. Those are the ones where you read about in Chicago, and it's like a three year old got hit with a bullet. Mm-hmm. That's where it came from. It's yeah. those types, the reckless, like they think it's Call of Duty mixed with Grand Theft Auto, and trying to impress their brother. Yeah, exactly. And then they go to juvie for three years, where they get a crash course on how to be better at crime, and then they go out at eighteen, and you know probably do it again. Yeah, exactly. Uh, the last clip of Urban Decay, guy tries to rob concealed carry class. This is my favorite. This should be an uplifting gold. Yeah, this should be. <laughs> this actually Students is. We're taking a break in the classroom when Mr. Payton entered the room and began rifling through a bag which contained a handgun that belonged to one of the students. The owner of the bag was able to prevent the gun from being stolen and Mr. Payton was escorted out of the classroom at that time. An employee spoke to Mr. Payton for several minutes trying to figure out what he was doing in the gun range. A short time later, another employee called police to report the attempted grand larceny. Three employees escorted Mr. Payton outside of the business and waited for officers to arrive. Officer Wynn and his partner instructed Mr. Payton to stand in front of their patrol vehicle. Mr. Payton ignored those instructions and started to walk away while hiding his right hand in his jacket pocket. Officers attempted to grab Mr. Payton, but he pulled away and still refused to listen to the officers. 
Officers attempted to grab Mr. Payton by his arms once again to gain control of him. This time, Mr. Payton pulled away and produced a screwdriver from his pocket and violently attacked the officers. Mr. Payton made several overhand strikes with the screwdriver towards one of the officers. Look head at and this neck freeze area. frame. Mm, Mr. Five was guys able to stab drawn one guns. Yeah. His all painted, pointed at this guy, As and he's done. Do not rob a concealed carry class. And three this is like the 101. This is like where you don't go. And Mr. everyone Payton. shoots him, right? Everyone yeah. shot him. He got shot by five officers guys here. Immediately huh? summon medical personnel, but Mr. Payton succumbed to his injuries at the scene. So scene. everyone shot him. It was the right thing to do. That's like a in in the field lesson from concealed carry class. Yeah. After that, it goes okay. Uh, and you have like, all right, you did a really good job. You he was actually facing away when you shot him, so you're gonna have to talk to the cop. Yeah, uh, you did great. You did great. Yeah, absolutely nuts. Uh, that's what happens. That's and that's why you know for everyone who has guns, that's why we need guns too. Absolutely. It's a very simple argument. I know David Hogg obviously thinks that people with guns are insecure and men are trying to be men because they have guns. Well, what happens when a cop gets stabbed with a screwdriver and you have a, wouldn't you want to have a gun in that situation? Yeah. Cop gets stabbed by the screwdriver and you're like, okay, nine minutes until the next cop gets here. Yeah. And you have to live in like this fake utopia where, oh, there's no crime though. You have to live in a world where, oh, oh there's no bad guys with guns. It's just insecure men. So obviously that's not the case. And that's why it makes it into urban decay. There you go. Moving on.